And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there. For a special day today, we have another sub battle stream day. It's been a couple of weeks since we've done a sub battle stream and they are a lot of fun. So that's what we're gonna be doing for the next about seven hours. I'll be breaking up this video into three parts for the YouTube channel of each one, you know, around two hours or so, or maybe a little bit longer. Um, but if you don't, if you haven't uh, seen the sub battle stream before, I'll go ahead and kind of describe what we're doing here. I'm going to be playing against different subscribers each and every round. Uh, I will have a wheel here that I that I'll spin that has 33 decks to start with of decks, uh, you know, favorite decks from the channel. And so I'll spin it to decide what deck I'm playing. Uh, so you'll be seeing a new deck each round. It'll be, uh, and then the people, the subscribers will bring in their favorite decks. Hey, thank you so much, Key. And it's just a really fun event. And so we'll be keeping track over here to see if Team Chat can take the, uh, I don't know, take the gold this weekend <laughs> and see if they can come out victorious. Um, so if you are a, so how we do it is we pick a, a random subscriber each after each match. So if you are a subscriber, all you need to do right now, if you would like to be the first one up, is to type the word battle into the uh, Twitch chat right now. Uh, that's four subscribers, of course. Um, but anyway, thank you so much, Key Tattoo. Also, hey, Gatsby. Um, and thank you so much, Rex. <clears throat> okay. And uh, yeah, then you'll have to put your, if you win and you are the person that's that's chosen to be, or like if you're just, you know, if you're chosen to be the person to play against me, you just have to make sure you have your gamer tag uh, complete with correct capitalization and everything and the number uh, that gamer tag um and put it in the chat all right so we got a lot of people in here already ready to go so let's just see who is up first let's go and get started all right dr random all right dr random you're up first so send me your gamer tag and exclamation point gamer tag always gets you mine so there's mine for you to copy paste um, go to the direct challenge thing, which is right up here, and that it also tells you your your gamer tag right there. Uh, make sure you change your challenge match up at the top. It starts with best of one. That's that's the default setting, so you have to change it to best of three. Um, I know that's behind like my camera part here. Okay, got that. And now let's see what deck I'm going to be playing. We'll let the wheel decide. What deck is going to be up first for me? <laughs> hey, HXC. Mono Red Crasis. All right. So we'll go to Mono Red Crasis. And here's our deck. For anybody not very familiar with the deck, that's what we got going on. It's a mono red mid range deck splashing for Hydroid Crisis for a good late game finisher. Okay. Oh, that was oh that was wrong. Okay, sorry, my bad. I had the the first the numbers were wrong. My bad. There we go. Okay, there we go. All right, here we go. First match today. <laughs> you had a one and a half hour game in Popper? That's crazy. All right, we'll keep this. Um... I think I'm going to keep the shock. We may need like the early interaction here. Don't know what we're playing against, of course. <laughs> I should have kept the first hand. Oh, you're playing a white, a white weenie lifelink mirror. Okay, that makes sense. That's how it was an hour and a half game. That makes sense. I'll put an upkeep stop just in case, but I may be casting the Chain Whirler here. This will kind of 
we'll kind of see. I train at home your prowess. Um. Yeah. Let me go and shot. Contain your rage. Um. I don't know. It's a card. That's eh, a fine card. Kakashi! Thanks for the bits there. <laughs> Cheers. Trying to give me bad advice to help out chat. <laughs> I'm known for my excellent timing. Alright, girl spiral. You want me to phase you out of time? And say moi getting that gifted sub from RX Jelly. Thanks, Santa Jelly. Hold that thought. Kihasio. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Well, beating Teferi is gonna be pretty tough for us. Not really that Teferi as much. The other Teferi. I am not going to sit this one. Trust me, I have a plan. So many planeswalkers. I look forward to seeing your mistakes. I honestly kind of think that I had this matchup. I feel like we played this Bant Walker's deck previously with We're studying contrasts. Uh, mono red cases. Your... Well, not. Maybe not. Um. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for here. We do have a main deck Bane Fire. But like maybe we could get enough mana. Let's skip to the <laughs> Hey Matthew. I lost because of Nar said I couldn't draw the last card of my deck with Jace to win the game. Aww. Oh, I've done the your hero. opponent had a Nar set, didn't let you draw that last card. I find your attacks unoffensive. Okay, so minus on the the chain whirler, not the Phoenix. So like I, f I feel that's got to be like a like some kind of an like removal like maybe a seal away or a settle something like that. Raf compassion. Okay. Okay. Oh, so this is this is like Bant Legends. All right, I'm into it. Oh man, I'm gonna get Urza's Ruinous Blast so bad. All right, this is pretty sweet. This is better than being Planeswalker Control. Get Raft Compassion up in here. I've got it. I'm well equipped to deal with nuisances like you. Hmm. Dueling you will be excellent research. No tail should be discarded. Well, 
Well, I can't play anything instant speed, of course. So, like, even if I had, like, Lightning Strike instead of Lava Coil, I wouldn't be able to kill the Raft Capacian before Dr. Random's able to block. This is attempting to do haste. But with a 1 1 counter, we can actually. I'm doing haste. Bibble thip. I have to. My research has been compromised. Fibbletip is not lost anymore. Quickly. Not lost. My acute awareness of your imperfections is maddening. I don't I don't really know how I'm gonna be winning this yet we're just kind of attacking a bunch and seeing what happens at least this turn i'll be coiling the fibble thip to be able to help the chain whirler get through oh no druidic vow oh what a great card druidic vow for eight. Oh what a card. oh my gosh i know my responsibility hit seven things no one two three four five five things i guess I saw only one card go to the graveyard, but I guess they, they stacked him. Oh, yeah, no, it was seven, because it was two lands. Yeah, the two lands. Yeah, so it was seven, hit seven. Nothing. Seven permanents. Wow. <laughs> oh, Druidic Vow is awesome. This could be an, a flash, another flashed in July to protect. Okay, no. <laughs> There's the flash in July. Uh, all right, well, Teferi ults here, and then all my stuff gets exiled. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so let's get these war bosses in here. We're going to be... Uh, get the Star of Extinction. We're going to be pretty bad against Urza's Ruinous Blast. Honestly. Hmm. <laughs> no, we could do best of one. Same why. If, if you want to play best of one. I could do that. Um, what's the four of that I want to take out? I guess I'm just taking out Chain Whirler since I'm bringing in War Boss. Or I'm taking out Phoenix. I kind of want to just take out Phoenix. Yeah. I like the Chain Whirler ETB ability right now. Um, I think with Band Legends, basically everything's going to be exiled. I don't think Phoenix is too necessary. Um, this card, Daredevil, also doesn't have a ton of targets, but getting like the uh, the Grow Spirals, because we saw a bunch of Grow Spirals last time, 
And plus, Daredevil is also a two drop that I can play right away to get some pressure on. Or late game growth spirals. <laughs> Yeah, chat's doing it so far. Right on schedule. Let's try the fairy's annoying how I don't get a cast like the shock at end step at all. That part's that part's annoying. Yeah. See, like, Whirler, I think, did more there than what uh, what a Phoenix would have done. <laughs> yeah. uh, some validates, it's always so much fun. Y'all are all like, no, don't. Can't draw that chain, Whirler. You know, terrible top deck. Alright, well, I can't really play Chandra here because Shalai just takes out Chandra. So honestly, I think I have to, I think I have to do this, honestly. I mean, I can't go upstairs. Because with Shalai out, if you attack a Chandra with the Shalai out, Chandra has to just kill herself. Alright, so I need to do... I need to do full control. And then I get to target this before blocks. All you have to do is just be here in chat, shekel shekel. Um, after after the match, we'll be doing like a new poll to like a new one to see who's up next. Hey, what's up, Ray Day Pinball? Thanks for that resub there. Thank you so much. All right, Chandra time. It's my turn. What's that smell? So oh, I could lightning strike Chandra. To Alright, I'll keep stop. The only companion I need is my blade. Could lightning strike Chandra to remove three counters to do three damage? Hmm. I don't think that's worth it. <laughs> Sit back and watch it burn. <laughs> it would, yeah, it makes no sense to do that. <laughs> You're like, yes, do that. <laughs> Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. I follow the tracks of the wise. I think that's. I think that's lethal. Yep. Let's light it up. This will be enough. Okay. Going to game three. All right. 
Team Chat. Get into game three here. You're going to be on the play. <laughs> Alright, I'll try to stop playing good cards. Yeah, drawing that Whirler, the Whirler was a really good draw that last game. Yeah. Well, treasure map this is just going to be the keep. Treasure map should hopefully make me draw lots of good cards. Obviously drawing Mountain Rootbound Crag. The first two draws were bad. Oh no. I'm dead. I'm just dead. It's over. Okay, it's not over. Yeah, best top deck. The war boss there. Oh no, no land? Oh no. Dr. Random. Wow. I thought we were losing this after that Night of Autumn and then everything went wrong for Team Chat there. I top deck Legion War Boss. No lands drawn over there. I wish there was a sorry. Dang. Oh, what a sad game three. Sad game three, but GG's there, Dr. Random. Good effort. Well played. That first game was awesome. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, definitely real unlucky there. GG's. I, I top decked that. Honestly, whenever you played the Night of Autumn game three, um, I thought I was going to die because I had nothing but lands and the lightning strike in my hand. I had nothing else. And so I, I drew that war boss just perfectly. And then, yeah, I didn't hit your lands. All right, let's see who's up next. If you are a subscriber and you want to be the next person to battle, there you go. Just type battle in chat. Um... <laughs> Todd cheated and drew good cards. <laughs> yeah, it was the perfect top deck. No exclamation point there, necrolepsy. Just just the regular word. <laughs> and of course, uh, whenever if you do if you do get picked, then um, then that'll be it for today for you. Uh, you only get to play one one time a day because to try to get as many people in as possible. Hey, Twitch. All right, looks like everybody's in. Let's see who's up next. Gatsby. Uh-oh. Gatsby was bragging yesterday about being un undefeated against me. Are you going to defer to Matthew? So am I going to play Matthew then? Okay. All right, Matthew, send me that gamer tag. There's mine. All right, what deck am I playing? Let's spin this wheel. What do we got? Each time we pick a deck on the wheel, then it it goes away for good. So, you know, like the wheel gets smaller and smaller each time. Started with 33 decks. We're going Jun to Super Friends. This was a donation deck from a little while ago. From a long while ago. I don't really know exactly what's in this deck anymore. Okay. 
Does Bedevil still not have a thing? No, it doesn't. Oh, Angrath has a thing? Oh, they just made an Angrath has a thing now? Gotta get that. Oh, yeah, that looks great. All right, this is a just all Planeswalkers. Two, four, <laughs> uh, seven, ten, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, seventeen Planeswalkers. I want this Davriel. All right. Uh, done. <laughs> Alright, later, Gatsby. Alright, let's see. Mulligan, the one lander. Ugh, Mulligan, the one lander. How many lands are in this deck? Another one lander? <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Just a... only one landers. There's only one land in the deck. <laughs> oh, okay. You're gonna try again later on mobile at the moment. Gotcha. Ooh, got teamer. <laughs> Ugh. Come and destroy. This dinosaur here on this rootbound crag's got a lot of work to do. Okay. Land War Elf. Matthew played a Land War Elf earlier. It looks like a good play. So I'll play one too. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Yeah, just putting one land in the deck may have been a mistake, to be honest. Whoa, there's two lands in the deck now. We got another land. Doubled our mana. I got this now. No blocks. I'm not scared. Not scared, just gonna go to sideboarding. Alright, so how many lands are actually in the deck? 25? That's like a lot of lands. Well. Eh, deck's great. Need to change anything. I lost game one before, and rallied back. I can lose game one again. <laughs> May not rally back again, though. That Woodland Cemetery art is amazing. That looks so cool. Wow, that looks really cool. Uh, but my hand has two lands. I'll just try it out. All right, I need an untapped land here, Jund. Untapped land. Dang. And Matthew's not messing around with these hands. Turn two Domri last game, turn two Spellbreaker this game. Not messing around over here. All right, got the stomping ground. It's definitely good. Uh, 
Paradise Druid with a Hexproof. Do you behold? Behold what? Dragon? Bet you've never been hugged by a Kraken before. No, don't attack, Matthew. Don't attack. No, no. Listen to don't do it. Roar. Come on. No. All right, so we're going to game three. Yeah, deck's still perfect. Ooh, nice boot. I know that that Sarkin's passive ability. I've I've done that exact thing that Matthew just did numerous times you know it's not like it's some some things like you you make the mistake once like basically whenever there's new cards like you make mistakes all the time with the new cards and like you make your mistake once and you're like oh, okay well I, I won't do that again but that that's that, that passive ability is kind of tricky because a lot of times there is no dragon and so it doesn't do anything and so then yeah yeah I think those Planeswalker passive abilities have caused just more mistakes that like I've seen like when I'm playing here than like anything else. Narset passive, yeah. Oh yeah, I bet. Somebody's just like play this thing, draw a card. They just draw their card, and then other people are like, uh, judge, you can't draw your card there. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, na yeah. Narset passive. <laughs> yeah, Tamio. Thought Razor, that thing. All right, time to break some spells. All right, the time is not yet to break spells. Ooh. Cool. Get that land off out of here. It's just like a perfect turn. Draw Chandra plus get uh, land off out of there. This is just gonna be bad for you. Remember last sub battle stream? I was just like drawing perfectly like the whole time. Is that what today's gonna be like again? So I had the game three Legion War Boss last time, this time game three Chandra. Ow. You will be a pile of ashes. A pile of ashes. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Um So do I want to play Ugin or how much loyalty do you have? You have four, you take up to five. Yeah. Every exploit ripples. Ethan itself serves me. <laughs> Oog out, not Oog in. <laughs> Oog out. Oh, okay. All right, well, that, that gets rid of Chandra. The old fiery cannonade. Ow. Well, that was a disaster. Secrets manifest before you. Let us fight! <laughs> Ugin can turn into a dragon, yeah. I will 
Yeah, that's pretty good. We can just have we can turn it into a dragon. And yep, I have the I have the twelfth power with taking up Sarkin. The twelfth power there. Yeah, Chandra's ping player or other planeswalker. Or just just planeswalker, not other planeswalker. No, GG's Matthew. You... <laughs> it's alright. It's not your deck is not terrible. No. No, Matthew, you did good. You did good. It was a good match. Alright, so if you want to be the next person up, there you go. Ty all you have to do is just type battle it's for subscribers only. Just click battle there. Yeah, see, I, I, I had that line up really well of my unplayable, you know, my game, like, where I didn't do anything was also the game where you had, like, your best hand of um, turn one elf, turn two Domri, and then uh, is there, like, I don't remember what the third turn was. Is that Spellbreaker, maybe? But then, no, it's turn three, Krasis. Yeah, it's turn three, Krasis for three. And then turn four, Ravager Worm. Like, that was just perfect. That was awesome. And so I had it, I had it lined up really well of not have, like, one of, like, your other hands against my really bad hand. Yeah, so subs, so yeah, subs only for, the, yeah, still, yeah, so everybody gets to watch and, you know, hang out and everything. But, yeah, so I'm battling subs. You can see the, the sub battle stream there. All right, is everybody, everybody in there? Everybody type battle. It's ready to go. All right, who do we got? Boot. Well, Boot, you're up. <laughs> rigged. You're not supposed to yell rigged whenever you win. <laughs> All right, send me that gamer tag. All right, let's uh, let's spin the wheel. See who's up. Hey, there you go, Zeal. Zeal's getting that. Gifted stuff from Santa Gatsby. There you go, Zeal. You can get in on the next one. Alright, let's spin the wheel, see what deck I'm playing. Four color angel command. Alright, so this was a donation deck from. Um, not too long ago. It's kind of like the Abzan Angels that we played last night, except for we're playing red for some cards, Sarkin, Aurelia, Domri. And really the main thing that red does is give you Deafening Clarion on the sideboard. All right, we got that. Four color angel command. I need to change my avatar. I want to be the Eternal Army. Ah, I always do that. All right, so that's four color angel command. When I do this, it does practice for Citadel. That's weird. All right, so you're getting the update from... Uh, oh, you didn't have the update already? Yeah, it was almost Ban Arcbow. We were really, really close there to hitting Ban Arcbow. That's the avatar you used, Jelly? There you go. <laughs> Glad we had the, the two people in chat that I get to call Jelly. Jelly Tug and Arx Jelly. Um... Oh, is it is it a big update? How's how's it going for you there, Boop? Get a little drink of water here. <sighs> Throws you off. <laughs> You're at fifty percent so far. All right, it's going quickly. Okay, well that's that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Hey, what's up, Ice Up Sun? <laughs> All 
That's just a couple, just like a minute or two. Um, okay, you do want me to get somebody else? All right. All right, who's up next? Then. Um, Necrolepsy. Necrolepsy, you here? I just, oh yeah, so I just did from all the people that were just, that already typed um, battle in previously. All right, Necro Necrolepsy is ready to go. Perfect. Okay, here we go. The Eternal Army. Well, this is a colorful looking hand. It says random sacred foundry <laughs> in the Zabzan deck. So is this straight up Demir, or is it Esper or Grixis? Guess it could be Soltai, not likely Soltai. The Domri, Domri down. Kind of looking like just Demir. I am proud to fight. You can still fight. So I think Jackson should wait until I use my uh, Johnny because if. If that Tyrant Scorn wasn't cast, I would have been ticking up a Johnny. Hmm. I did not stop this fight, but I will finish it. Wait, cancel. Wait. I'm about to do you first. Minus for two, get this thing back. Embrace the bloodlust. Look how far you have come. Man, Johnny Ansor, and these two drops just keep on coming back. I have like infinite two drops. Ooh, it's Grixis. There's a mountain. <laughs> the planeswalkers are cheat. Planeswalkers are cheating. I've been making these planeswalkers so good. I'm pretty interested to see what we're going to have in the core set for, like, interaction with Planeswalkers. Reckoning will come one day. Nice. You got Soren in a sealed event? Nice. All right, Ice, last part's a Gruel Arpo coming in the mail in a few days. Be sure to make a post about it in Discord after I try it out at FNM. Perfect. Yeah, let me know how it goes. All right, let's go Branch Walker instead of Wild Growth now since I don't have more we still need things to bring stuff back. If I would have just done the Branch Walker part first, then I could have cast Domri and then added mana and then cast July. So I guess I, I could have Domri on the on the battlefield right now. I would have just minus for Branch Walker first. See it yourself. What Ooh, I Beast see. within a reprint. That could be a good one. Oh wait, Domri pumps power. Nah, I should have Domri in first. <laughs> oh, I need to start playing this Domri. Or... 
hear me out. What if I don't play anything? Star of Extinction here. We need to play around that. I'll just act so basically I'm just gonna activate Shalai here with my six mana. <laughs> yeah, that's a jelly tug said dude. Necro is gonna starve extinction here. Okay. Well, that was a pretty great hand for me with all those two drops and then all these Planeswalkers to bring back two drops. That was pretty perfect. So I feel like I should have Ugin and Desparks and Vivian. I guess I should maybe have Duresses, but... I don't know if I need dresses. And let's cut Lyra. I guess so, so Ritual of Soot and I get rid of Resplendent Angel. Ritual of Soot, Tyrant Scorn. A lot of things that kill CMC 3 or less. What if we make those cards worse? Yeah, stream's going to 10-ish tonight. Yep. Yeah, so get on in later after work. You're 2 0 so far, Ice Up Sun? Yeah, you gotta get in this. Basic Mountain is kind of awkward in the Thought Erasure deck. So I wasn't. You know, I didn't think I was going to have a two drop here, so I was just planning on duressing here on the second turn. But we, but I drew a two drop. <clears throat> I can't say we drew a two drop because y'all are on the other side. So I drew a two drop. I have been drawn really well. Bolus. Bolus is good. Pretty good here. No ritual of set. Feel the heat of my flames. <laughs> Magnificent. Servitude. <laughs> what 
Watch this. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm a little surprised by not not a double block there. Cause, yeah, because the double block I just I just killed Nicol Bolas instead, but my wild growth walker is dead, and they they're, they still have the other creature. Yeah, I think I think Necrolepsy need to do the double block because th that would kill the wild growth walker. And still, they keep the 4 4. The Wild Breath Walker was a 7 7. They had two 4 4s. Yeah, had to, had to do the double block there. Had to do that. Still, like, curved out really well. Both of those hands, I just had awesome hands. Man, I've just been having really, really good hands here. All right, boot. I'll pick the. Pick the deck here. I mean, I mean, GG's Necro. Jay-Z won! Got here at the right moment. Sure did. Alright, five color reborn. Yeah, that duress was really clutch. Yeah, that it had that at the right time. Necro, I don't know if you if you came back to the the channel at all before we're talking about, but that that last turn, I think if you double blocked, you were going to be fine. You had to double block though, because my wild growth walker was a seven seven. If you block with both your four fours, I can only kill one, and you'd still have your other four four. And my and you know my seven nine would be dead. Uh, what am I doing? Five color reborn. There we go. All right. So for those of you that don't know the deck, it's a lot of crazy stuff. Lantern doesn't have a, a thing. No, it doesn't. So this is our deck. It's a five color deck. Uh, just basically being um, a guilds matter deck with just cards from almost all the guilds. Um, so that's what we got. Let's give it a try. Well, to keep, we got a whole bunch of lands. And we got just lots of different colors. Uh, this Hallowed Fountain is actually perfect. Drowned Catacomb, Clifftop Retreat, and Hinterland Harbor all come into play untapped. We could actually do the Thought Erasure into Clarion Curve. Okay, what is going on here? <laughs> Thalmatic Compass, Chromatic Lantern, two Karn the Great Creators. Um... I think I'm going to take the Lantern. No, nah, I feel like I should take one of the Karns. Hmm. I am going to need land. What would you recommend a new player to do to get familiar with the general cards people use? Um, I would recommend going to uh, this site here and uh, this site here, MTG Goldfish, there, and just start looking at just start looking at deck lists. And perfect. White, blue, black, red, green. Perfect. All right, Niv-Mizza time. No, I mean, being on an ET, being, having an ETB trigger is better than a cast trigger. 
Uh, you can have the planes. Just the old turn five, play five lands, play Niv Mizzet. Just perfect mana. Uh, we'll discard this Clarion. I guess my Lantern may not actually tap for mana if there's a Karn the Great Creator out. Oh, I don't have Deckmaster up. Nobody mentioned Deckmaster. Let me get that up. Oh no, Ixalan's binding. I think I have Mortifies in the deck. I can't expansion copy Dispersal, right? I don't think I can. I do not feel pain. That's weird. Yeah, it's, it's uh, CMC four or less. I liked your Grixis deck, Necro. Uh, I thought Basic Mountain was a little odd in the Thought Erasure deck. I think he had a couple Basic Mountains. If you had your stream muted before also, in the Necro, we talked about the, the double block thing uh, with the dragons at the end game. But, okay, because you got the mounts. Cause, okay, so you were playing more of a dragon-heavy deck. Okay. Cool. This will aid us. We can always count on Boot to bring some jank. So I can't cast Krasis. I will be better prepared next time. Hmm. I don't think the dispersal is going to be too good with... Okay. I'll take Golgari Queen. I forgot we had Golgari Queen in here. Now. One, two, three, four, Step five, aside six, seven. or be crushed. <sighs> Pity we couldn't have been allies. Yeah, we need a cleansing nova. Um So, uh, what I was saying about Dispersal, I don't think it would work too well here, because Dispersal will just like, get rid of Ixlon, like this Ixlon's binding that's on the Krasis. Just put that back in their hand, my Krasis would die, and then they just then Boo would just be able to replay the binding. So that's why I just cast Discovery. I battle for the forces of good. Nah, the Queen. With this honestly, may run out of win cons. Honestly, maybe I don't have Mortify. Maybe I just have Oath of Kaya. I really hope I have Mortify to kill that 
binding on the Niv-Mizzet Reborn. Just somewhere in the deck. We have to do a lot of sideboarding. We have to take out all these Deathming Clarions and Kaya's Wraths and a Johnny the Greathearted. I'm just going to do no no attacks. So, obviously, I attack boot, just spires of Orozka is it. I'm just going to do the no attacks just to save a little bit of time. And boot had the spires highlighted every, and everything, too. All right, so what am I looking for explosion next turn? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, explosion for six next turn. I guess I kill the mobilized district instead of doing six upstairs. Ooh, Teferi. Teferi can tuck that Ixalan's Binding. Alright, let's start with this. Man, I honestly may mill out here. this down. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Look at the top ten. Just more niv mizzets and everything. I'm not even going to take this Kai's Wrath. I don't need it at all. Oh wait, do I have to? That's unfortunate. I guess, I guess niv mizzet does reveal the cards. Yep, ETB is more powerful than cast in general. Because, yeah, any way you, you cheat it in. Alright, so Veto, Teferi Time Waster, Dispark, Knight of Autumn. I have an Immortal Sign in my sideboard? I want an Elder Spell. I did have one Mortify. Take out Clarion. Take this out. Take these three. This is 63. Uh, 
62. I don't know, all these look pretty good. Maybe I trim a lantern? Yeah, maybe I trim two lanterns, honestly. Now we'll do one one lantern, one uh, crisis. So the reason why I want to trim lanterns is because Boot has the Karn that shuts off lantern, and but even then, like lantern still fixes my mana with all the other lands. But then also it's just a slow matchup. I'm thinking maybe I have time to get other lands. Well, if I don't draw blue mana, I'll be in trouble. That was the one card I, I kept. I need to go runner, runner, blue, and then green as far as lands go for the Niv Mizzet Reborn. <laughs> yeah, Rampage is. Angrass Rampage is hidden first mode. Hmm. Well, Boot kept a two lander with that. Treasure map. All right, there's blue mana. Another honor guard, Karn, Lantern, Lyra. It's sad that I have to take the Honor Guard then, so that my Knight of Autumn does something. Going with the Thaumatic Compass so Boot can't just continue to get a bunch of lands out of his deck. Evil must not be tolerant. Stand down. Chaos Wand. You are only hurting yourself. Dispark with expansion is pretty nice. Awaken. Yes, I could have played Niv Mizzet Reborn. I'm holding up Veto though instead. Hmm. All right, I guess I guess I use this. The problem with using Dispark 
Is that now I'm kind of weak to this Lyra Dawnbringer. All right, we'll get to Fairy and Thought Razor. Till they exile an instant or sorcery, then you can cast it. I mean, I guess I do have a six six. So how weak am I to Lyra Dawnbringer, really? I mean, I have a 6-6. Six, six. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Lolly Yeager? Yeah, we've had a lot of close matchups. We've had a couple game threes and everything. It's been a, been a good day so far. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This would be eight. Of course, Teferi doesn't do anything. So with the uh, Spyglass is named Teferi. Stand by and watch. Ooh. Have five for that? I think I want that to be bigger than five because I want it to be bigger than Lyra. I think I'm going to just explosion for three on the Raph at boots end step. Field of Ruin. Now that's just plain rude. No, I don't have any basics in my deck. Yep, we're playing standard. We're playing five color reborn. Boots playing something sweet. Yeah, we're doing a, a sub battle day where I'm playing against subscribers in chat all day. It's a lot of fun. Playing some jank here this round. So I made two changes to this deck. Like the last time that we played it, I I changed two things like afterwards. And both of those changes have been awesome here. I uh, replaced Niv Mizzet, like the the big blue red Niv Mizzet, I replaced it with that expansion explosion. That expansion explosion was really, really nice, both of these games. And also replaced, um, and then I also added in the Golgari Queen, and that Golgari Queen was was nice last game. Got rid of the treasure map. So four, five, six, seven, eight. Do this for six. I kind of want to take out one of the. I mean, Krasis is so good, but I kind of want to put in one Ravager Worm over one of the Krasis's.
Wow, that is just all just made up stuff. Hey, Boot. GG's. GG's. So I think the gate. I think the gateway was for Parhelion. Yeah, I think Boot was trying to play Parhelion with that. All right, let's see who is up next to battle. All right, so if you are a subscriber and you want to be, um, if you're a subscriber, you want to be up next. Type the word battle into the chat. Let's see who we got. We need team chat. Got to get there. When team chat wins a game too, I'll crack a pack. So we got these extra packs still to crack. <laughs> All right, let's see who's up. We got a lot of people in here. Rex. Hey, Hoop, good afternoon. All right, Rex, send me that gamer tag. There's my gamer tag to copy paste for your arena. And let's spin the wheel, see what deck I am playing. Jeskai Storm Conduit. Hey, 619. Happy Saturday. We're doing our sub battle Saturday. Having a good time. All right, let's see. Let me get this up. So Jeskai Storm Conduit was a deck that I made a little while ago. Here it is. Where I wanted to try the Rao combo because people aren't really Rao comboing too much. I wanted to just try to do the Rao expansion combo. And I wanted to play a lot of Deafening Clarions because that card's just so good these days. So this is the Jeskai Storm Conduit deck. It's pretty sweet. I think the Ruinous Blasts are not very good in the sideboard. I think those should be... Those should, oh, we already have already have two Cleansing Novas. I don't know. Those should be something else. Some other kind of sweeper or something. But I'll keep, I'll keep them in for now. But I think if I was revisiting the deck, I would want to change those two cards. Ah. Let's do that. Direct Challenge. Okay. Make sure you change it to best of three. And here we go. On what is keeping Feather from breaking through as a real deck? The removal in Standard is just... The removal and card advantage in Standard is is very, very good. And it's kind of impossible for that deck to really break through because of that. Uh, a deck full of like pump spells and things like that. Spells that target your own creatures. Because you need you know critical mass of creatures and spells. And then you don't have room for interaction. I think I'm going to save the opt. I don't think I really need to opt for anything right now. Some people like some people like just casting turn one opt to make their hand look better, but the hand, hand already looks fine and you never know like what you're like actually playing against a lot of the time and so Hmm. So this is a Wilness Reclamation deck. Ops more powerful whenever, like in the late game, whenever you're like top decking and you need to have need to find something specific. That's when it's its most powerful. I'll take that land. That's a red land. I put the, the island to the bottom because island wouldn't cast Sarkin or Explosion. Yep, I'm reckless and unpredictable. 
All right. Everyone complains to me about the weather. I'm used to Soren, you know, plus two deal of damage. Let's just start targeting our opponent there. Yeah, Wilderness Reclamation is definitely the best on common standard. It's probably the best individual card in standard. There are, like, some good hate cards for it and everything, but it's incredible. How am I doing over here? Three cards over there. That's not very many. I'll just graveyard. Eureka! <laughs> Sorry, I, I just realized something totally unrelated. There's kind of a time limit for each turn, yeah. Yeah, there, there is one. Um, it's not like something that's like written anywhere, but after a while, if you're not doing anything, there'll be like a, a little rope that comes out here and burns, and whenever it gets to the end of the rope, then your turn ends. <laughs> the best rare is Narcomoeba. So I have five cards in the graveyard now. So pretty close to flipping Escanto. Alright. Storms are like a symphony, and I am a great conductor. I want to find another expansion so I can combo. That's the goal. Oh, you're welcome, Achilles. Well, that's that's so kind. I won't Thing. hide from the world Thanks for helping make longer. Thanks for helping make magic fun again. That's really kind words. Hey Tiger, good evening. Yeah, I'm glad I could I glad I could help there. All right, I guess I'm going to just use the shock, I think. Yeah, I think I want to just use the shock here. It just kills Teferi and kills Frilled Mystic. I think that's worth it. I remember. Pain hurts. We begin. Your end has arrived. It has arrived. It all built up to this. All right, so we'll put that as Kanta back on top for next turn. Whoa, finale of Revelation. That card's cool. Does it draw five? Five's a lot. I will call the dragons. <laughs> Turn Parhelion into new party boss. Hey, what's up, Kalua King? Man, oh, I am so sorry to hear that. Oh, 
I am so sorry to hear that, Kalua King. What's not to love? I'm brilliant, handsome, and totally. I hope you are doing well and um, staying strong. Not fail. Uh, if the planeswalker dies when they're in dragon form, they just Beware die the just like walk. any other time, basically. Listen to them roar! A dragon would rather die than lose. Yeah, just like any other time. There's a storm coming your way. Well, I guess I'm casting this thing. Do not assume I am fragile. I guess in case it's countered. All right, so I shouldn't have targeted the Nissa. Oh well. In case it's countered, though. I kind of have to do that. Yeah, that was... That was not the best explosion. They used their finale to draw five cards earlier. Oh, Attack with the Forest! It has Vigilance. All right, I think that's lethal. I think the shock does six. I don't know. We're gonna find out. I have just the thing to take you out for good. Yep. I guess I could I could have shocked it. I could have just played my other row and then minus that other row also and then done triple shock. Um All right, definitely seems like a Narset matchup. Veto. Clarion. Take all the Planeswalkers and Burn Spells out of the deck. I probably need to do that. Alright, take out Coils. Those are Burn Spells. We'll take those out. Um, maybe I don't have room for Vetoes. I kind of want all the rest of these cards here. I could take out Opt instead of Veto. Hmm. I guess I have to take out Opt. How am I doing on lands? 26? That's a lot of lands. Replacing op with veto. Oh dang, Rex, I'm sorry. Here, um Alright. So Rex, did you not sideboard? A 
I think our, our opponent got disconnected. Yeah, I think Rex got dis disconnected whenever we were sideboarding. All right, telling Rex what to do here. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to just get rid of this match, um, start a new one. Rex will just concede the first game since I got the first game, and then we'll just go to sideboarding right away uh, so, so that Rex gets to sideboard. I mean, I can concede this game too. Can I? Yeah, reprint of the ley lines would be nice. They are so expensive. All right, so Rex, so start start another match. So so rechallenge. <laughs> no team chat's not on the board. It's okay, Rex. All good. <laughs> Chat one. <laughs> you don't see the second stream decker? It's it's somewhere in there. It's it's from a few weeks ago. Um, honestly, it may be easier to find decks on the YouTube channel. Um, you know, like looking. You know, going to the YouTube channel and uh, being able to see like the, like all like you know all like just clicking the videos and being able to see all these, it might be easier to find than on Stream Decker. Honestly, look for looking for Jess Guy Storm Conduit. All right. Anyway, so I was going to do all these vetoes and uh, not that card, but this card and this card and that card out, and these cards out and those ones out. Done. Because then on the YouTube channel, like they have the link to the deck list, of course. Let me. I'll help you look. I'm just gonna. It's probably in there somewhere. There it is. Two weeks ago. I found it. There's the video. It has the deck list in there too. All right, keep. No problem, Siege Breaker. Yeah, the Stream Decker side is is kind of difficult to find, like the decks, because they just you know use like the same pictures for like so many different decks and everything. It's it's really hard to find decks from a long time ago. <laughs> no, Night of Autumn. Bleh. That's the second time. Night of Autumn's gotten us. And by us, I mean me. Team Chad's using Night of Autumn against me. It's one of my favorite cards. Ooh, Stained Glass to Fairy. Cry. Yep. Odds of you like the gauntlets? Built them myself. Mm. All right. I mean, it could be worse. Because I, I could see there being like a, if there's a Nissa here that makes like a three three. Okay, no Nissa. Wow. Not even attacking Ral. That's got to be Teferi. Oh, it's another Knight of Autumn. All right, so in case of Counterspell, I can... Yeah, in case of Counterspell, I'm going to copy this. Better watch out. 
There's a storm brewing. All right, just doing that in case the counter spell there. <laughs> what if Rex just yeah played a different deck? <laughs> Hey, Night Owl. Ugh, Finale. That card's been pretty impressive. It's a draw four. Ugh, Narset. What are you doing? It's too late. Rex just drew four. Like, just drew four. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Here we go. It all built up to this. <laughs> Planeswalkers is cheat. Prison Realm. Oh no. I just put the other, that other little Teferi on the bottom. I really should have seen that coming. Yeah, I really should have seen that coming. Just the trick for this. I wonder what the weather's like on Ixalan. Well, I don't really like where I'm at here. I kind of need to find explosion in the sky. Because just... Rao minus copy explosion. Danger only makes field research really what we need. <laughs> yeah, Rao does love his weather jokes. Guild mage, planeswalker, genius inventor. I got it all. Ral has like infinite loyalty. Like actual infinite loyalty. You must be accompanied by a parent or guardian to ride the lightning. Um, can you still copy an explosion with another explosion if the first one gets countered on the stack? Yes. Yeah, like this, this just copies it. So even if the first one's countered, you'll still cast the other one. Um, too many spells in my hand. I am really into current affairs. Get it? Because current. Electricity. Never mind. Rex is just making land drops over there. I want to Dovin's veto some stuff. So basically, I'm I am a little scared of. Ooh, that thing's scary. I was gonna say I'm a little scared of uh, Frilled Mystic. Copy. A reaction, and you are not gonna like this one. I should not clack the, cast the. Um, I 
Should not cast the resolve all. Unfortunately, my Narset's gonna die now. Because I hit that resolve all earlier. I could have maybe done something about that. That extra damage is so much. Alright, just one card over there for Rex. So they can only counter one explosion. Hmm. Hey, Kronk Slayer. Mind and body should move in unison, like wind and wave. You like the gauntlets? <laughs> I built them myself. All right, I want to land. Basically testing to see if they had Frilled Mystic with the Narset there. And no, I didn't minus Narset and let Narset die right away. Because if they have uh, another blue finale or a Krasis... Sloppy technique. Hmm. All right, that's good enough. It's easy. Quantum particles, blah blah blah, and then you die. All right, so we'll go for four. Ah. All right, so let's counter spell. I want I want to not target that. Ugh. It's too late. Once you target, you can't you can't undo. All right. Um before action we find another explosion it's over Those who cannot I guess not yet mind. we gotta wait till next turn yeah cause I, I can only do three twice you must be accompanied by a parent or guardian to ride the lightning All right, that'll be game. Yep, GG's. Fury will only lead you astray. And then explosion does millions of damage now. Dang. Yeah, that that Ral just has infinite loyalty. I don't think our I don't think that Rex ever really had a chance to kill the Ral. I guess, no, that was game one. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, just can't, yeah, Raul just has infinite loyalty. Hey, not this time. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub there.
Yeah, you just had all lands there the late, you know, the late game. I got to just keep on like getting like seven, you know, making like make it till I had like seven cards in hand, and you, all you had were just lands. You're just in your land drops. All right, who is up next to play? If you're a subscriber, type the word battle into the chat there. For subscribers only. Ooh, got lots of people coming on in now. We'll do one more match here before uh, ending this YouTube video and starting another one. Because I like doing you know, like the three videos. I like splitting them up. So we'll do one more match there. All right. Everybody in there? <laughs> cattle <laughs> all right looks like everybody's in here who is up next liam's all right liam's send me your gamer tag there's my gamer tag and i'll spin the wheel see what deck i'm going to be playing up next what do i got Golgari Walkers. What's what's the rest of yours, Liam's? Is it just Liam's eighty? Okay, just just Liam's. Okay. Okay, I got gotcha. you. But then this is the pound sign. All right. Does that look right, Liam's? Like that. Okay, uh, let's see. Golgari Walkers. This was a, a donation deck we had just a few days ago. We'll go ahead and take a look at the deck here first. So this is what we got. Um, we got Stained Glass, Davriel. Hanging out. We got Evolution Sage. Uh, going with with the different Planeswalkers. Um <laughs> the other pound sign. Real Wrinkler. Thanks for that reset there, Wrinkler. I uh, got it. Got changers to best of three in the direct challenge part there. It starts. It starts best of one automatically. I change that. No, uh, Azura, I don't have any updated green-white company list anywhere. Liam's, do you have yours on best of three? And then coin flip. Best of three, coin flip. Um, Akazi's father, uh, this is the link to the YouTube channel. Hmm. Is there... So it says, so best of three... Akiza, sorry. I said Akazi, but it's Akiza. Sorry. Huh, it says best of three coin flip. Um, everything with the name, correct? Huh. This is weird. 
Like this, like name's correct, right? Okay, name's correct. It doesn't say like, it should say there like coin flip or you win coin flip or opponent wins coin flip. And you should have it just set on coin flip. Okay, there we go. We got it. We got it. We're good. Well, we're going to need to draw lands, but we're on the draw. On viewer games, just yeah, I, I basically have yeah, just donation dank, yeah, donation decks ranked. Basically, everything I play on stream is on YouTube. Basically, everything I do on stream, I put up on YouTube. That's that's what I do. I don't do right now. I don't have any other YouTube con content that's not on stream. Just like the the seven hours of streaming every day, that's all up on YouTube. All right, so we have a Jeskai deck. I can actually play the Elf here to try to play Golgari Queen next turn. So yeah, this sub battle stream here will be up on on the YouTubes as well. Everything in the stream I also record for that. Hmm. What's going on over here? Is this five color reborn that we just played? Go ahead. Sacrifices must be made from time to time. Yeah, I like these sleeves the opponent has to these Sarah sleeves. Those are really cool. This deck that I'm playing right now is uh, Golgari Walkers. It was a don it was a donation deck a few days ago. I'm going to just cy cycle this Wild Growth Walker. There we go. Look for land. I think Liam's maybe playing Five Color Reborn. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, it's a different version, though. So we got Dragon's Horde here. Sweet. All right, so I'll have every fight makes no one said not bad for a mouse. Poor Vivian. Sacrifices must be made. If we actually had a land there, I guess we would have won. Because if Rasko was at 8 loyalty, so I could have played Evolution Sage and then played the land drop and put a ninth counter on Vraska and then minus 9 Vraska and then attack with my two creatures. And, you know, one gets blocked by Reborn, but the other gets through and then it's lethal. I, I've been doing pretty good drinking water. 
It says I need eight hours or eight ounces so far. I don't know if that's eight ounces or not, what I've drank so far. I drank some number of ounces. The next wound will be fatal. Fatal. The mask is scary, but don't perish the thought. All right, so all we need to do is, or all I need to do is hit Liam's with any creature. There's still no lands over here. I'm drawing a whole lot of cards without seeing lands. There we go. Empty your mind. Sacrifices must be made from time to time. Yeah, the Nissa Haste can help us win. I also have like the Vivian to kill the Niv Mizzet. Okay, I'm done. Got a few different Tricks up my sleeve here. Niv draw 10. That's got to be so difficult to have Niv draw 10. I think the most I've ever drawn off Niv is... Um, five. Don't be surprised if we meet again. I'll just use Choops instead of using Vivian, because if I use Vivian, then Vivian dies to the attack. So I'll just use Choops. We got this little emblem over here. All we need is any creature to deal deal combat damage to a player. That's all we need. Any creature will do. <laughs> I'm a mathematical genius. I can tell you the odds. It's very, very low. Uh, are we going to do it? Are we going to shake the world? Big ol' Nissa? Cannot protect itself. Behold, nature's true power. She's so big, she shakes the world. All right, so we're playing against five color reborn. We probably want all these duresses and the contempt. I think that's it. Um, this also didn't really seem like a very good matchup for Golgari Queen, even though Golgari Queen won us that game. I guess it's Wild Growth Walker. We, we really don't need Wild Growth Walker, right? No, we were one. Yeah, two Golgari Queen, three Walker. I'm gonna trim one Evolution Sage also, actually. No, Evolution Sage is just cool. All right, we'll have one of each. Oh yeah, I probably should have Field of Runes in here, shouldn't I? Yeah, I could have Gogari Walkers. Yeah, this this was a donation deck. I didn't I didn't build this deck. But, yeah, I could just have Command the Dread Horde, but 
Okay, so it just has more Planeswalkers instead. I mean, Command the Dreadhorde would work well in the deck, of course. Yeah, that's our walkers. We have Wow Growth Walker, Branch Walker. It's our walker deck. All right, one lantern down, and then we have the queen for another lantern. Was this your deck? Was this your deck, Rex? I don't remember whose deck this was. And yeah, did you put command in there? Yes, yeah, Chris, I'm the villain. Y'all are the good guys. I'm using this avatar. Okay, that no, it's one well, of the yeah. You just play with command. Yeah, that does seem to fit perfectly. I agree. So this eats Dovin's veto. They need any land to play Teferi. They need a white source, to, specifically a white source, to, to play Kaya's Wrath. The green source is interesting, because then could Krasis or Teferi here. Teferi doesn't... Doesn't do a ton for them. I'm saving Chupacabra in case they drew... Um, the Niv Mizzet. Like, I, I really want to be able to kill the Niv Mizzet. So I'm going to have that with Chupacabra there. Because if I if I play Chupacabra to kill that, and then they just slam Niv Mizzet, then it's like, uh-oh, I can't get through anymore. We're, we're doing like 1v1 challenges today, Lenlock. Um. Yeah, we're playing standard. It was probably going to die anyway. There's another white source. Kai's Wrath? No, not Kai's Wrath. I am not going to sit this one out. Kill a swamp, get a swamp. Let's take it back. As long as we win, nothing else so if matters. we sack a forest, we get a forest. Makes sense. Checks out. This is hardly my worst defeat. Checks out. Ugh. Okay. Oh no! Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, they still have Kai's Wrath. Alright, good. Yeah, it's a balanced equation. <laughs> Alright, kept something on top. That was Kai's Wrath. How's it gonna be? Well, this time it doesn't work because we're not taking a random card. We we know that we have an evolution sage, so it doesn't work there. But if it was a random card, it would work. I 
Nissa. We need to proliferate. That was cool. I had to get that proliferate trigger in there. All right, well, we need to start a new video so team chat can come back here. <laughs> that proliferate trigger looks cool, though. Liam, GG's. GG's. All right, so that's going to be part one of the sub battle stream. If you're watching this later on YouTube, hope you switch on over to part two that we're going to have here in just a little bit. I mean, for you, you just get to click on over to the next video. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope you hit the like button over there as well. Uh, I'd appreciate that too. Uh, but that's it for part one. I'll see you for part two.